Meet Ankylosaurus magnaventris, the armored walking fortress of the late Cretaceous. Its name means fused lizard, great belly, a nod to the plates and sturdy body that helped it survive among giant neighbors. Our story begins on the ancient continent of Laramedia, where rivers braided across flat floodplains. Here, paleontologists found the first bones of Ankylosaurus and realized they belonged to a new kind of tank-like herbivore. It lived right at the end of the dinosaur era, only a few million years, and maybe just thousands of years, before everything changed. Armor isn't just decoration. Ankylosaurus wore a mosaic of bony tiles embedded in tough skin with spikes along its flanks. Its body was low and wide, perfect for stability. Up front, a beak clipped plants. At the rear, a boulder-like tail club could swing with bone-rattling force. Inside the skull, twisty nasal passages likely slowed and cooled air and sharpened smells. Heavy shoulders and hips anchored big muscles to move all that armor. It wasn't fast, but it didn't need to be. Its plan was stand firm, swing once. Ankylosaurus browsed low vegetation, ferns, cycads, and leafy shrubs, snipping with its beak and grinding with leaf-shaped teeth. A large gut fermented tough plants, like a walking compost tank. When danger approached, it turned its best armor toward the threat and kept its head low. Did they travel in herds? Maybe small groups, but the evidence is thin. Juveniles likely stayed in safer, denser cover while their armor thickened. The tail club was a last resort warning, too close, thwack. Its home was the Hell Creek-style floodplain, rivers that flooded in storms, then left fresh soil for plants. Forest corridors held conifers and broad-leafed flowering trees. Open patches grew ferns and shrubs. Ankylosaurus shared this world with Edmontosaurus and Triceratops, nimble Pachycephalosaurus, swift Dakotaraptor, and the apex predator Tyrannosaurus rex. Seasonal swings brought wetter months with lush foliage and drier periods when water holes shrank. Ankylosaurus likely kept to thicker cover near waterways, where plants stayed green longest. Around 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid struck Earth. Dust and aerosols dimmed sunlight, plants crashed, and plant eaters, armor and all, soon followed. Ankylosaurus vanished with most dinosaurs at the KPG boundary. But its fossils still teach us how bone can grow in skin to make armor, how a tail can become a living hammer, and how life evolves many ways to solve the same problem. Stay safe, eat well, and endure. Today, museum specimens and computer models help scientists test how strong that tail swim really was and how its nose might have cooled the hot Cretaceous air.